feet out a little wider than hip width apart, toes and knees pointed forward. So strong base of support here. Let's go ahead and stretch our arms up and just take a deep breath in. And then on the exhale, lower the arms, tuck the chin and just round forward a little bit and stretch on up, breathing in and breathing out. Right, so sometimes, right, all we can do is just take the time for ourselves, enjoy, you know, our ability to breathe and move our bodies. So let's roll it down. Take one more here, stretch up to the sky, and then round down. So draw the abs in and just hang out in this forward fold position for a moment. We're going to bend the knees, look forward and come up to the fingertips or maybe just hover off the ground and then round it down pull the belly up bend the knees up to the fingers or even on the legs to support you look up and then fold do this a few more times that spinal articulation flexion and extension round and once more bend look up and forward Take a little twist, place the right hand down, reach the left arm up and spiral through your spine. Taking a breath in here, exhale, reach a little bit further and then change hands. Place it down, press down with one, up with the other, rotate. Use your breath and bring it all the way down. Bend through the knees, roll yourself on up, and come to the top. All right, we're gonna come down to the floor. So bring yourself down to your back. Have the feet flat on the mat, and we're gonna take the arms up toward the ceiling, and just move those shoulder blades around for a minute. So reach up, feel them peel off the ground, and then plug them down. And just create some movement through the upper back. Take one more. And then we want to feel the length of our spine from our head to our tail. And we're going to start with some ab curls here. Pressing through the feet. Take an inhale. Exhale, lower the arms. Lift the head, neck, and shoulders. And look toward your thighs. Stretching long through the arms. And then lower back down. So we're going to breathe out to curl up and in to lower. So as we start our movements today, I really want you to work on just connecting the mind and the body. So breathing out, our breath is going to help us find that connection. Draw the navel up and in, stretch through the arms. Think about your gaze, so it goes to the ceiling, down the wall to the legs, and then up the wall to the ceiling. One more here, reach up and hold. We're gonna float our arms up next to the ears like you're suspended, and then press down. So float up, really sink the belly down, and exhale lower. As those arms lift up, can you Draw the belly down the back, flatter on the mat, reach, and press down. And one more time here. Lower those arms, and then float the arms and lay down. Just getting that core warmed up. We're going to take our right leg straight out, hover it off the ground, foot is flexed. Ab curl, and lift the leg. Just bring it level with your other leg, and as we lower, Hover the leg, head could come down. And curl up and lower. If you're noticing kind of too much strain in the neck, you can go hands behind your head here. Use the arms to help support the lift. You can also leave the head down and work on just that leg lift, drawing the belly in. We're gonna take this for two more. Lift and lower. I'm going to come back to that curl, lift and hold. Raise the arms for four. Inhale, exhale. Think of a hammock kind of suspended between the trees here. So sink the belly for three and reach. And this 
time, reach the arms, bend the knee, lay down. Other side, left leg reaches long. Exhale, curl up and inhale to lengthen. So, so far taking a simple movement, an ab curl, integrating our upper abdominals, our lower abdominals, and our breath, and stretch. Remember your choices at any time. Don't make this about the neck. Fold from the trunk for three. Inhale, exhale, fold two. And go for one, hold here. See if you can reach your arms, stretch them up by your head and press down for one. Inhale again. Eyes look right at your thighs, feel that stretch and lower down. One more time, stretch it up. And arms come down, lower everything down. Very nice job. From here, we're gonna take and lift our legs one at a time into a tabletop position. If you need more support, just let those knees hug into your chest slightly. Curling up here, reach with the arms. Then we're gonna stretch our legs up as straight as you can get them. Feel that back sit heavily on the mat, bend the knees in, and then lie it back down. So we curl up, really feeling our center working now. Reach up, bend the knees in, and lay it back down. Let's go two more, curl it up. Stretch the legs, sink the belly. Bend the knees, and then lay it down. One more time, curl it up. Stretch the legs, hold. Reach up toward the toes, feel that hammock sensation again. And then we're gonna bend everything into a tight little ball. Reach everything up, inhale. Exhale, draw it in. And again, stretch and bend. This time, stretch and hold that position. Can you reach further up and lower it down? And step the feet down, abdominals. Warming up a little bit. We're gonna go into a bridge, opening our body up the other way. We're gonna start by tucking our tail under, press with the arms, and roll the hips up. Find the length through your neck. Widen your collarbones. Feel all your toes press into the ground. And then lower one vertebra at a time. Lengthen through the head. So feel the head reach, the eyes stay up, and one bone at a time melts down into the floor. And take this again. Tuck the pelvis. Press down before you rise. Peel up. Gently press through the arms to open the chest. And roll down. Bring the sternum away from the chin and bring that low back all the way in contact with the floor. One more time, just a nice release. Stretch for our backs here, pressing into the arms. And then from here, we're gonna take our right leg and extend it up, once again level with the left. From here, lower it down and lift up a little further. Flex and lower and lift. Meanwhile, trying to stay strong in the standing leg, use the back of the arms, go for two more. Lower and lift up. Think about our breathing again, inhale. Exhale, bend that leg, set the foot down, pause, and melt all the way down. Let's go to the other side. Inhale, exhale to bridge up. Find your position, stand strong into the right leg, extend that left out, and we lower it down. Inhale, point and lift, exhale. Trying to keep our hip bones level the whole time. Stretch along and lift. Go two and lift. One more time, lower and lift. Bend the knee in, hold and lower all the way down the bottom. Very good. Bridging up again on two legs. Lift on up. Press into the arms. We're going to press up onto the balls of our feet. So lift the heels up and lower them down. 
Try to keep the connection points of the back of the head, the back of your shoulder blades, the back of your arms as we work through our feet. Feel those back of the legs, hamstring glutes working here. Let's go for three. And down, and two, and down. One more, hold, lower your right heel, pick it up, lower the left. So you have to use what's on the ground, right, to support the lift. Let's go for four, and three, and two, now we alternate them same time, right down, left up, and switch, and switch, and switch. You can do it. Keep breathing, four more sets. There's one, and two, and three, and four. Both heels up, bridge down. Feel the back of those legs warming up here. And let's hug the knees into the chest. Nice work, take your legs long. Reach the arms up, stretch them back over the head as you draw the ribs down toward the pelvis, and roll yourself on up. And if you have to grab your legs, just get up however you can, it's all good. And from here, we're gonna sit up as tall as we can. So we've really just warmed up the front of our body, the back side of the legs, and now we're gonna open up those spaces. So take the arms out. Just like we started, go ahead and protract and retract those shoulders. So I'm letting them come forward and apart, pulling them back into place. Check in with your legs. How can you sit that's you know, good for your body, right? So my legs are straight right now. You can bend yours. You can sit yourself up on a little block if you need to. Where I'm at, I can't see everyone's names. You're too far away. So hi, everyone who's with me. Thank you for joining me today. Right? Means a lot that you took the time for yourself this morning. So we're going to stretch forward. Spine stretch. You're going to draw your navel into your back. Let those shoulder blades go wide. Hold a big beach ball here in front of you. And breathe your air out. And then like you're filling up that balloon, you're gonna breathe in and grow taller, taller, taller. Energy in the arms, shoulder blades plug back into kind of your back body against the spine. Go forward, open the shoulder blades up, reach forward, exhale. As long as you have air flowing out, you're moving. And then roll on up, restack your spine, sit tall. So go two more. So this is like a seated ab curl. Pull the belly muscles back, reach forward, flex the feet, and roll yourself up. One more time, take it forward, stretch. And roll it on up. Very good, let those arms and legs shake out for a little bit here. And we're gonna bring our legs into a diamond position, so heels together, knees slightly apart, and let those arms come forward. Do a slight pelvic tilt back, so we're gonna squeeze the heels together lightly, tuck, and take a little bit of a roll back, looking forward. Take a sip of air, anchor through the heels, pull the navel, the spine, and roll up to a tall sit. Inhale, exhale. So it's like that you're drawing your navel away from your legs, Try to still anchor through the feet. Look at your feet. Inhale, exhale, squeeze, roll to rise. Two more here. Taking that small roll back, tuck, tuck, back. Inhale, exhale up, and sit tall. One more here, take it back. Hold, and breathe, breathe it in. Exhale, can you sink a little bit more? Take another breath, and this time let your arms just drop down. Two more breaths here. Do one more. And this time come all the way to the floor. And stretch it on out. Getting into some rotational work next, we're gonna start from the ground. 
and work our way up. So plant both feet, bring the hands behind the head. And we already did our ab curl, so we're gonna add a twist to this. I'm gonna come up and turn to the right. Elbows are wide, kick that left shoulder blade up off the mat, but keep the left foot down and the left hip down, and then come to center. Other side, kick the shoulder blade off, hip down, foot down. So check in and center. Exhale up and center. So what we want to think about for this one today is really what is not moving? What is anchoring? So right now, the pelvis, the legs and the feet, and the twist comes from the torso. And think of it like a lift. So lift that shoulder blade off and set it down. And lift it off and set it down. Let's go for four. And down. And I'm trying to keep my knees pretty still. We're moving a little bit, but be aware of that. And one, and center, take it down. From here, pick up the right leg, tabletop position, left leg stays down. We're gonna turn only to the right. So I'm gonna come up and twist one, and lengthen. So I'm not laying down in between these. You can, if you need to, Want, but what I'm really thinking about is where I'm back at center. Is everything organized so that I can get the most out of that twist? There's three. And there's two. Use the exhale for one. Set it down and switch legs. Pick it up, navel to spine, elbows wide, twist. When you turn to the left, you're anchoring the right leg and hip. Twist and center, exhale, twist, and center. We have four more. Center, can you get the shoulder blade off a little more? One more time, and center, foot down, lay back. Now both legs up at tabletop. We're going to straighten our left leg as we turn to the right. Feel your inner thighs squeeze together. Pass through center, but take a second to check it out. Right leg straight, turn to the left, and center. Here we go, slow, crisscross, and twist, and center. Can you stay lifted? Elbows wide, and center. We have four more sets. And exhale, three, inhale and out, and in, two more, and in, one more time, and twist, and twist, and center, and rest down. Step the feet down, take the legs long, reach your arms back, and roll yourself on up. Awesome work, getting those obliques going this morning. We're gonna take our legs out, this time, bring them together. I'm gonna to put a slight bend in mind for this one, working on a seated twist. Bring the hands up to the shoulders, glue the legs together so the inner thighs are active, and let's turn kind of toward me, right? Try to broaden the collarbones, open the elbows, squeeze the legs. No, it's not easy to do, and come center. You might feel a little stuck, and that's okay. That we want to realize to work the obliques, we need mobility through the trunk, turn and center, and other side twist, and center. Let's breathe in, create space, inhale. This time, stretch your arms out. Can you stay twisted as you bring them in, and then center? to the back, reach your arms, bring them back in, and center. Keep going here, inhale, exhale, breathe in, and out, and twist, and reach, and in, 
One more each way. Keep squeezing those legs together. Stretch it out. Bring it in. And center. One more twist. And reach. And in. And center. Awesome work. I'm going to go back to that diamond position with the heels touching and arms forward. Coming into our half roll back. Inhale to prepare. Exhale, tuck back. Sitting like this gives me a center, an anchor point, heels squeeze together. Take the right arm and we're going to pull back like a bow, opening the chest and then come center, scoot back a little further and go the other way. Breathe it in, twist and breathe it out, center. So it's okay to lift a little bit and then lower a little bit more. You can make it as big as you want. Using that breath, inhale and exhale. Breathe it in, twist. Your arms reach opposite each other. One forward, one back. Sit it back. Do it again. Twist. And back. Let's go for four. And center. And three. Two more. Rotate the torso. One more time here. Bring it center. Hold. Good. Take your breath in. Exhale, let those arms go down. Breathe again. Can you sink the belly even further back? And then slowly lower it down to the mat. All right, very good. We're going to take this onto our side. So roll and face me. So thus far, I've done a lot of work on the front of the trunk. We're going to get down into the hips and also our shoulder. So coming up onto the elbow, you want the elbow under the shoulder, right? Shoulder directly based under your ear here. So not sinking, push into the floor to create lift through those obliques that we just worked. Take the legs to the front corner of your mat, stack them one on top of the other, and then take the opposite arm and we're going to reach it up and pretend there's something up there that you're reaching for. So you're in essentially a little mini side plank position. So we're very lifted, very strong. Take that top leg and float it up. So it's like your legs being suspended and your arm at the same time. We're going to lower the leg and lift it up. So you're also setting a cup of water right here on the hip and it doesn't get disturbed. So we don't want to collapse. We want to stay lifted into our shoulder. Let's go three and lift and two and lift one more time. Pick it up, hold it there. Take your arm forward and the leg backward. Then we're going to swing the arm back as we kick our leg front. Arm swing, just like if you were walking, right? Working in those oppositional patterns here. Meanwhile, you got your kickstand, that is your arm, keeping everything strong and stable. So whether we realize it or not, that arm's doing a lot of work to hold us up, stretch, and reach twice more. Stretch, and reach, and stretch and kick. Now line everything up. We're going to set the legs down, bend the knees, and bring that arm back up. And I'm going to take, grab onto that imaginary bar here, push into the floor, lift the hips up, and set them back down. Watch that shoulder push strong with that left arm and down. Do it again. Push up and lower. Push and hold, and hold wherever you can. Take your top leg, stretch it out. Take the top arm, reach underneath, try to get your shoulders and chest to face the mat, and then open up to the sky. Now, if you're still on the hip, that's great. Work right here. You can still get into that shoulder. You're probably feeling it here. Rotate underneath. 
try to spiral your upper body. Open it up. One more time. Find that spiral. Open and hold. Can you raise the top leg? And raise the corners of your mouth, right? And we lower down and stretch up. And two. And stretch. Ending where we started. You can do it one more. And lift. Set it down. Down and down. Wonderful job. Let's go to the other side. Right? So we work the shoulder. Believe it or not. Set up again. So important you take that time to organize your body. So we're not watching TV, well, even though you kind of are, right? But we're working together. So you're pushing up. Lift through your side body. Stack the legs. And reach the arm. Right? Tall position. Float the leg without collapsing your shape. You want to see it nice and lifted. Take it down and up and lower. So you are lifting as much as you can. Make the body as long as you can. That's what creates that mobility, that flexibility through our joints. Two and lift and one lift and hold arm goes forward leg goes back belly comes in all right did you catch all that that's a lot and we reach the leg front arm goes back so leg goes back arm goes forward but even though our limbs are moving our torso is not right our trunk is not so we are hitting stability through our pelvis and our shoulder Mobility in the hips, right, and the other shoulder. So all important things as we go about our day. We have two more. Reach it and reach it. And one more time. And level it off. Very good. Lower down. Bend the knees in. Find your lift. So give yourself some help here. Imagine you have something to grab on to lift through your side body in a careful descent. Just a tap. Lift, squeeze, and carefully lower down. Again, lift up, and slowly down, and lift and hold. Right, take that top leg, and we lift up here. Stretch it up, keep lifting and lift and lift hold it here twist underneath try to square those shoulders and open think about pushing into the floor with that supporting elbow try to keep yourself as far away from your mat as you can find space underneath open it all the way up and one more time I know I switched my order up this time, so find it here. We'll just do one hold. Keep it strong and lower and lower. Great job. Come down onto your belly. Tops of the feet flat to the mat. They can be about mat width apart here. And we're just going to bring our forehead onto our hands. And just resting down. To begin, press the pelvis into the floor and just hover the legs. So I'm not trying to go as high as I can. I'm just lengthening and then relax down. Press the pelvis down to float the legs and lower. Again, press. So through all these moves today, we're finding length in our body, right? Chance to open ourselves up, right? Be resilient to new challenges in front of us. Figure out how to be open instead of closed. Yes, lift, and that's lift and hold. Now pick the head up off the arms and just press down into your elbows. So see if you can't lift your ribs and maybe even your belly here and then lower everything down. So legs float up, elbows press down, eyes look forward, belly in, 
and then lower down. One more time, legs, press, rise. Now I'm gonna rotate to bring my hands forward so I can come up a little higher. And then from here, press up into the palms. So raise the elbows and lower the elbows. Legs are still active. They don't even have to be off the mat, but they are reaching. Press through the arms and lower down. If you can't get to a straight arm, no big deal. Just go to where you can without shortening your neckline. So neck is along and elbows tap and lift again and lower all the way down. Slide the hands closer to the shoulders. So we're gonna make this a little bit bigger. Pretend you have a marble on the floor. You're gonna roll it forward with your nose. Roll the shoulders back. Lift through the chest. This time legs are pressing down. Belly's lifted. Now as I lower down, I'm gonna allow my legs to rock up opposite my torso and forehead down. As I press up, the legs press down, the belly lifts nice and strong swan here. And as I lower, think of the base of a rocking horse. So I'm all one piece, legs stretch up opposite the head. Do this again, rocking up. Inhale and rock it down. And go a little quicker, inhale. And this time I'm gonna let my hands go, just float them off. Press it up and sometimes we just need kind of rock and roll, right? Let things go. Let's go for three and forward and two and one and rest down. Press up into a child's pose. Hips to heels, chest to thighs. Let the head drop down. And I'm gonna swing myself back through to a seated position. And speaking of rolling, we're gonna roll going the other way. Take a grip right behind your legs and just pick the legs up one at a time. Just kind of a nice, easy, balanced position here. I'm just gonna let my legs relax and focus on some breath work. So I'm gonna draw the abdominals in and tuck back. So allow the arms to fully lengthen and that pelvis to tuck. And if you've already fallen down, awesome. That means you went for it. So if your back's a little tight, you might have to work a little harder. Scoop, roll, and then try to find your balance. So you're gonna tuck, use that exhale, roll and roll back up. Right? The idea is a roll as opposed to a fall, right? So try your best, but our spines need this nourishment, right? The spine gets its kind of nutrition, its nutrients from movement, right? Exclusively really rotation and rolling of the spine. So let's do one more of these and bring it on up. All right, we're gonna kind of revisit some stuff from the warm up and add our spinal articulation to this. So starting at the top, take the right leg and reach it up. Doesn't have to be all the way straight. Feel free to keep it a little bit bent. Take the arms forward. We're gonna roll it all the way down, trying to keep our left foot on the floor. Here we go. Inhale, exhale, roll it back. Taking your time, take a little stretch. Now you got a couple choices here. We're gonna come up. If you wanna grab the leg on the first one, just grab on and bring it up. We'll try again, going down. And option two, maybe you don't hold the leg, you just reach forward. Or straight leg, we'll go down, down, down. This time reach for your toes and rise one more time, stretch it down and roll it on up, hold at the top. It can be bent. Take a twist toward that leg, open and center, or it's straight, open and center. Two more, open it up, right? We've seen these before. One more time, open 
and center, set it down. Other side, you can pick it up. Let's just keep it bent for the first one, right? So reach forward, roll it down, use your exhale, try not to fall, but if you do, it's okay. Roll up, grab that leg, right? Don't worry if you have to help yourself out. Right? Well, ideas, you made it here, you're moving. Right? doesn't really matter where you're at with the exercises, you're trying them. Then leg can be bent or straight. And let's do one more down. Inhale, exhale up. Hold at the top for that twist. Twist and center with a straighter bent leg. Twist and center. Breathe it in, open. Breathe it out. One more time. And center, set it down. Very good. Cross those legs, bring it over into an all fours position. Right hands and knees, toes tucked under. Let's go ahead and round our back. So pull the belly muscles up, drop the head, find that flexion, and then extend the spine. Right, finding that solid base on all fours here. Let's round it up again. Scoop. And extend. And this time, we're going to round. And watch the belly lift so much that you are going to hover your knees off the mat. And then carefully tap the knees down and come to a flat spine. Try this again. Round it up. Hover the knees. Lower the knees. And extend it out. Let's go again. Round it up. And hover. And lower. And stretch. This time adding on. We're going to round up. Hover and hold. Take and rock your weight back. And forward. And if you want to stay on the knees for this, by all means, do so. Rock it back and front one more time. And forward, set it down. Adding on, lift the knees or not, right? Your choice. We're going to rock back, come forward, and then pike up. The heels reach toward the earth here. And then bend down all the way or hovering. Rock back and forward. Pike up and down. Try two more. Rock it back and forward. Pike it up and down. One more time. Rock it back and forward. Pike it up. Hold. Right? Just kind of walk the feet out. We're going to walk our hands in toward our feet, bending the knees. And that generous kind of forward fold position here. Press into the ground to roll on up. And putting it all together into our Pilates push-up series. You're going to stand at the edge of your mat. Take your arms up overhead. Inhale. On an exhale, round it down. Arms by the ears. Looking forward, bend the knees a lot as you walk your hands out to your plank today. Knees or toes, four push-ups or just hold your plank, right? Think about putting everything together. Strong center, strong leg. Inhale, lower. Exhale, rise. Inhale, lower. Two more. And one, press up, pike up, stretch it out, and walk your hands back. Find that forward fold, and just sink into your stretch for a moment. Relax through your head and neck. Just nod your head yes. And side to side, no. And just 
hang forward. Ground through all the toes, press into the floor, roll yourself up. Lifting up to the top and just stand tall for a moment. Once again, thank yourselves for taking the time today, right? Despite maybe it being something different than you were anticipating.